thousands of runners all set to take part in that 26 mile race winding its way through many of the city's neighborhoods. Both the marathon and the half marathon filled to capacity for an event that keeps getting bigger. That's great news for local businesses as well. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson on the story tonight. Sierra. Kendra, organizers tell me that they are excited about this week in the high number of participants and the economic impact it all has on the Queen City. As runners get ready to take part in the 15th Buffalo Marathon, many out of town participants are taking in the city for the first time. We were looking for a different place, a new place, and uh, we we're very surprised about how beautiful it is. Alexander Gifford said he made the journey with a group of friends of avid marathoners from Mexico City, and so far they've been pleasantly surprised. Marathon organizers say stories like Alexander's are becoming more and more common. The race, believe it or not, since the beginning has grown 15 to 20 percent every year. And the growth is more than just Western New Yorkers. We have 7,000 athletes, 30 percent of them are from outside this area. Of those participants, 10 countries, five provinces, and 40 states are represented. And those visitors all need somewhere to stay and eat. Several downtown hotels, including Embassy Suites on Delaware and the Courtyard Marriott at Canal Side, both at full capacity. Patrons are visiting restaurants, shopping with vendors, and contributing to the city's bottom line, all part of the race organizer's vision. We want to put Buffalo on the map. It is a great place to come for Memorial Day. And the race director of the nation's premier marathon, the Boston Marathon, says this weekend the city of Buffalo is off to a great start. I see the, the makings of an incredible event. I see everyone out there, you know, executing the game plan that they worked on for an entire year, and it's all coming together uh, meticulously well.